Okay, so now we are going to see the instructions for the auto multiple choice for this script. They are not the same as in AMC TXT format. Uh, I wanted to uh, create something that is more flexible than the default one. So let's open it in, in the system viewer. Okay, so this is an outdated version because now we need only one txt file for uh, usual questions, for horizontally aligned questions and for multiple correct choice answers. So you don't need QMS and QHS anymore but you still need the QoS TXT to process the open answer questions. Uh, I will update this file, but for now, just, uh, just to show you, now you need only one file. So every uh, question in this file should start with QQQ, QMQ, or QHQ, QH number or digit. Um, otherwise, it won't recognize it as a question. And for your correct and incorrect answers, they should start with triple plus or triple minus. And everything else uh, will be omitted. So let's go in order. Here you can see the tag of open questions. So it goes QO big L, big M, and uh, the first digit stands for number of lines, so uh, you will have something like this. Uh, for example, here you had three lines, one, two, three. So uh, to code this question, it was written Q03, and since the maximum uh, point for this question is three, then the last one was also three. So it was uh, the declaration of open question, then the number of lines and the maximum point for this question. Okay, so uh, the partial score will be calculated from this formula. So uh, the partial score means this value and it goes the maximum, which is three, divided by the number of lines plus one. So you have a flexible grading system here. So if the student answered, for example, not bad, but not good, so you can put 1.5. If he is better than that, 2.25 and the opposite. Okay, so here again, uh, these three symbols, like these triple symbols, they should go all together. For example, if you uh, have put one space between the QQQ or QMQ, the script won't recognize it. Unfortunately, it won't, so be cautious about that. After that, it is fine to have any number of spaces or anything like that. So just don't try to split these triple symbols. Also, uh, many people just type the underscores. You can also write the uline space and it will be replaced uh, with the mm, special two centimeter uh, line uh, and it is in the prohibited symbols. So what's next? Um, okay, here we have, okay, so if any string in the file QS or QOS doesn't start with a uh, specific tags like QQQ, QMQ, QHQ, plus, 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 and minus, 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 it will be omitted. So for example, in the first example here, as you can see, uh, the question is declared with a QMQ, so it has more than uh, one correct choice and right after the declaration the um, 
the the question itself starts. So it goes. Okay, so QM4. I don't think I have implemented it, but why it goes here, I don't know. Okay, so maybe I was planning to do that and I just forgot. Okay, so uh, here you can see the uh, declaration of the correct choice one and correct choice two. So there are no spaces in between. And the declaration of uh, incorrect choices. So this choice will be omitted totally. So since it's not declared with the specific symbols, the, um, the script will think that it is a trash and will discard it. Okay, so in this one, we can see that the declaration happened with the QQQ. So we have only one possible correct choice here and two uh, incorrect ones. Here it shows the uline space. Okay, so uh, this issue is actually uh, happening very frequently. So uh, people just write, okay, so A and C, for example, A and C, and they expect um, the, uh, the answers not to be randomized. If you have such problem, just type in the same uh, C and A answers, like in total, instead of typing just A and C. So just not to confuse your students, type everything clearly. And here goes the uh, horizontally aligned one. So you declare it with QH and the last digit is going to be uh, the number of columns that is going to divide the whole space into. So for example, it goes QH4, which means uh, the space between this and this barrier. Okay, so I'm going to show it like... Okay, so this space will be divided into equal four parts and all of your uh, answers will be placed uh, starting from the left side uh, in these equal parts. So I think it is a bet better way for processing it because when I have just horizontal choices like I shown in the previous uh, first glimpse of auto multiple choice uh, this will put these two answers in the middle and it won't look very convenient to all other questions and if you declare the question with QHQ the default uh, value for uh, the horizontally aligned questions will be 5 and here is how you declare the open answer question so you just go Q034 and then the question itself so it is going to print three lines with a maximum of four points and the partial correct value or score partial will be four divided by three plus one okay so here you can see my repository for for the project and from here you can go directly to the authors of uh, auto multiple choice program Okay, so let's go there. It is written in Perl and uh, I know that it should be... Just a second... The installation is fine for uh, all the Linux and for FreeBSD and also it includes the Mac OS. So if you have the Mac system on your computer, and it is going to run smoothly and you don't need to install any of your pretty uh, Linux, or, uh, Linux distros, or should I say GNU Linux. And okay, so it's, it's fine from here. By the way, you can install the desktop environment from Linux to FreeBSD because uh, they just differ uh, with the kernels. So GNU will work uh, fine on FreeBSD and on Linux uh, kernels. You can also download these source files and 
compile them on your computer on your own. I did it on Clear Linux because it didn't have this program uh, in their uh, repositories, so I needed to download it and then uh, compile in place. So it's not very hard to do. Uh, just Google all the stuff that bugs you and it will be fine. Okay, so this is it for now. Goodbye.